SpaceX's Booster 7 has been removed from its hot seat, but there's no need for concern as it's all part of the plan. The company is currently focusing on the launch mount itself, which is the most complex structure at Starbase. Even Elon Musk has emphasized the difficulty in building this mount. The Ulm is currently undergoing a lot of welding, and while the shielding on the top half is almost complete, there are still considerable gaps between the panels. However, SpaceX already has a plan to address these gaps by covering them up. The team has been hard at work installing plates on the outside and battens over the gaps on top to shed rainwater onto the larger plates. On the side plates, the battens are on the inside to ensure that water blown across the wide plate to the gap will simply flow down the edge of the wide plate without flowing into the crevices behind the outer plate and inner batten. This design minimizes the amount of water that might get caught in between the battens and the larger plates. It's a highly technical process, but SpaceX is making sure that every detail is accounted for to ensure the success of the first Starship orbital flight milestone. It's fascinating to see the level of detail that goes into constructing something as complex as the Starship launch mount. The decision to install the shielding cover plates on the inside of the structure, rather than the outside, seems like a small detail but it's actually a smart move that saves a lot of time and effort. By using flat plates on the inside, SpaceX can bridge the gap without having to bend outer plates to follow the curvature of the wall, which would have been much more difficult and time-consuming. It's also exciting to hear that the Raptor platform beneath the launch mount is taking shape, with scaffolding installed and progress being made. It's clear that every aspect of the Starship program is being meticulously planned and executed with a high level of attention to detail. Meanwhile, over at Massey's C-31, the installation of flap simulators ahead of testing is yet another milestone in the Starship program. This portion of the spacecraft is crucial for the first orbital flight, so it's important that it's structurally sound and can withstand the rigors of space travel. Overall, it's clear that SpaceX is pushing the boundaries of what is possible with spaceflight, and the attention to detail and innovative thinking that goes into each aspect of the Starship program is truly impressive. It will be exciting to see what milestones they achieve in the coming weeks and months. The successful splashdown of the SpaceX Dragon capsule marks a significant milestone for the Crew-5 astronauts who had spent 157 days in space. The Crew Dragon spacecraft's journey back to Earth was not an easy one, as it had to endure temperatures of up to 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit during its fiery plunge back through the lower atmosphere. It was a high-speed descent, with the spacecraft streaking through space at 84 football fields per second or 17 and 100 miles per hour. The Crew Dragon capsule's braking rockets were fired automatically for 11 minutes, after which it was put on course for re-entry over the gulf. As it fell back into the discernible atmosphere, its heat shield withstood the scorching heat and atmospheric friction, and it rapidly slowed in a spectacular fireball. The capsule's main parachutes were then deployed, and it slowed down to a sedate 16 miles per hour for the final three and a half minutes of the flight before splashdown. Upon landing, SpaceX crews stationed nearby quickly converged on the spacecraft to ensure its safety and haul it aboard a company recovery ship. The hatch was then opened, and one by one, the astronauts were helped out and placed on stretchers to ease their readjustment to gravity. After initial medical checks, they'll be flown to shore by helicopter and then to the Johnson Space Center in Houston for debriefing and reunions with family and friends. The safe return of the Crew Dragon capsule and its astronauts highlights the success of SpaceX's continued efforts to enable regular and reliable human space flight. It is an achievement that demonstrates the company's commitment to revolutionizing space exploration by making it more accessible and affordable. The concept of 3D printed rockets has been gaining popularity in the space industry, with companies like Relativity Space at the forefront of this innovation. The company's Terran 1 rocket, made almost entirely using three Dominican pesos printing technology, was expected to make its debut flight from Launch Complex 16 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. However, 
As the launch window opened, the company faced unexpected challenges that resulted in the launch being aborted twice in one day. Despite the setback, Relativity Space remained optimistic and continued to take a measured approach towards their future endeavors. The idea of 3D printing entire rockets is still in its infancy, and there is much to learn and explore in this field. However, it is clear that the potential benefits of this technology are vast, as it can significantly reduce the time and cost of building rockets, making space exploration more accessible than ever before. Meanwhile, the achievements of the Crew-5 astronauts on their 157-day space mission highlight the incredible dedication and hard work required for successful space exploration. From conducting spacewalks to installing solar rays and supporting thousands of experiments, the crew's work has far-reaching implications for scientific research and space exploration. However, as Cassie denoted, space exploration is a challenging and unpredictable endeavor and even the best laid plans can be disrupted by unexpected events. Nonetheless, the crew's dedication and commitment to their mission are an inspiration to us all. Despite multiple attempts, Relativity Space was unable to successfully launch its Terran 1 rocket on Saturday, which was set to be the world's first 3D printed rocket. The launch was delayed due to high upper level winds and was then aborted twice due to various issues including a boat encroaching the launch safety range, an automatic abort due to a launch commit criteria violation, and a fuel pressure issue on the second stage. Despite the setbacks, Ariazani Kelly, test and launch technical program manager for Relativity Space, expressed optimism and said they would continue to take a measured approach. The Terran 1 rocket is designed to launch small satellites into low Earth orbit and the company hopes to eventually see it off to Max-Q and beyond. The multiple aborted attempts highlight the challenges and difficulties associated with launching rockets and underscore the importance of careful planning and preparation in the space industry. In the highly competitive and fast-paced space industry, setbacks and delays are not uncommon. This is especially true for a company like Relativity Space which is working on developing innovative 3D printing technologies to create rockets. Despite the setbacks, the company's founder and CEO, Tim Ellis, remained optimistic and focused on the long-term success of the company. He emphasized that the launch attempts were not just about getting Terran 1 into orbit, but also about collecting valuable data and insights that would help the company improve and develop new technologies for future launches. Furthermore, Ellis noted that the launch of Terran 1 was just the beginning of the company's journey towards becoming the next great launch company. The insights and lessons learned from the launch attempts would be instrumental in the development of Terran R, Relativity Space's next generation rocket. The company is pushing the boundaries of what is possible in rocket manufacturing and is committed to developing new technologies that can revolutionize the industry. Despite the challenges and setbacks, Relativity Space remains focused on its mission to make space more accessible and affordable for everyone.